Hey everybody, how's it going? We are here with a timeless reading. For anybody curious, I do, I should, I do have personal readings open currently. In case anybody is curious, all of the information you need is in the description box below. The link to my website, that is the only place to get personal readings with me, just in case anybody is curious. We're starting off first with Eight of Cups. And Four of Cups. Eight of Cups and Four of Cups gives the feeling of you being on the search for something and you can feel like you haven't found what you're looking for and you can be getting tired at this point. Eight of Cups is feeling like something that you're looking to click with, something that you are wanting to resonate with, something that you want to feel connected with, to feel tuned into and can be looking for that. Like, where am I gonna find it? I'm, I'm looking around, I'm trying to figure out where that's gonna be. And so there can be lots of different avenues that you've been exploring or just trying to keep your eyes open, try to keep your mind open. Having Four of Cups feels like I've been looking around and I'm not finding anything. This feels almost like I've been traveling and now I'm taking, taking a seat, feeling still like I haven't found what I'm looking for. You can feel like you've traveled quite a distance but still haven't found something like something is still missing and you can be getting tired at this point or you can feel a bit unmotivated what is it? What's the word that I'm looking for? You know when you're looking for something or you're trying to do something and it's like not really working or it's not happening, that feeling that you get? That's what the Four of Cups is feeling like to me of I've been putting in these efforts and something still isn't happening and it discouraged. You can be feeling discouraged. Okay, so we have three of wands, we have 10 of wands. This is you like trying to make things connect, trying to go where you sort of need to go in order to make this happen. Having 10 of wands here can feel like there's so much effort. You see this person wrangling things in sort of all on their own too. It's like something that may even be easier if it's a group effort. However, it's just you here trying to do this and this feels strenuous. Ten of Wands can even feel like this is taking so much energy and you can feel like, where are the results? Why is it taking so much energy and it's still, I feel like I'm coming up kind of empty here. I can feel like this is draining. You can feel a little bit shut down because of that too. Almost like, should I even be getting my hopes up? What are the chances? It can be hard to manage this side of things. As much as you may have a life with other people in and out and other things that you're interacting with, <clears throat> on every card that I'm seeing come out, it's just one person. And so this feels like you, you just by yourself as an individual, every step of the way, like there's something that you're trying to do. You can feel like it hasn't happened yet. You can feel even like you're running on fumes now at this point. You've been putting in the effort. It's like day and night trying to do this thing that you're trying to do and you can be feeling a little bit out of luck is the feeling. 
I don't see this being the case and this being just an empty path that you're walking down. I do think something is going to come of it, but you can be getting to that point where you're feeling very, very, very discouraged. Like if something was gonna happen, wouldn't it have happened yet? Or if this was gonna work, wouldn't it have worked yet? Or shouldn't there be some type of sign? I almost feel like you're doing something where you're guided, guided upon like this principle that you're following here and you just really have to put your faith into it. And there can be this feeling that you're getting of, am I being foolish maybe by doing this? Like, is anything going to happen? It, should I maybe like reevaluate this? I'm not seeing that be the suggestion at this point. It just feels like one of those things that I get the feeling of you following your heart and you can feel like nothing has really confirmed if this is right or not yet externally at this point and as far as results are involved at this point you can feel kind of tired of walking as well <laughs> here comes the fool okay I'm also seeing Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This means that sort of the entrance to the thing, the entrance to the thing that you've been looking for is going to come through. That's why it feels like you need to be sort of continuing to do this right now. If I were seeing something where your guides are like, you need to stop and reevaluate things, I would let you know that's not what I'm seeing here. This feels more so like, don't don't judge what you're doing based off of not seeing results or not seeing something happen when you think that it should be happening and then discredit what you're doing here because it feels like your heart is really in the right place. Like you are guiding yourself through this process and you're tuning in and you're listening and there is something that you're gonna know you're gonna know what it is when you connect with it, sort of what you've been looking for here. Okay. Having the fool be connected with Eight of Cups, it feels like needing to continue to open up your mind. Also having the fool here too with Uranus can mean that something very unexpectedly, seemingly out of nowhere can sort of come through, it can happen. This can also mean too that you're gonna go somewhere that you weren't expecting to go. I'm getting confirmation of that. What I'm seeing as well here, to have the fool and to have nine of wands feels like you have to cover ground and you have to explore and you have to look around and you can feel like, where is the destination? I have been walking and I have been trekking and I have been looking around and I still don't know where it is that that we're supposed to stop here and I'm not at the point of stopping yet because I still haven't found this destination. It does feel like something in particular that that you're feeling feeling for that still you still haven't like plugged into that thing you still haven't connected with that thing yet. And I do feel like it will be an intelligible moment when you do that. But because of Uranus being here, because of the fool being here, it can mean that you've been like exploring and you've been looking around and in the beginning you could have felt like really excited about this and you could have had like a lot of motivation about this or at least been like really inspired. Now you can be, like your patience can be wearing thin or your motivation can be wearing thin you can feel tired right now you can feel winded you can feel discouraged is the main feeling that I'm getting with the four of cups and then also to have the nine of wands below it how are you working with yourself and continuing to do what you know you are like meant to be doing right now like this is the right thing for you to be doing right now as far as like you being in alignment with this rhythm of yours so it's not like you're off track, you're on track, but when it comes to your expectations, when it comes to like your wherewithal in general and things being challenged, 
how do you work with yourself to keep doing what you're doing here and not sort of fall off track especially when things are maybe taking longer than you thought they would or just the adventure is looking a little bit different than you initially anticipated so weird it's like my my right nostril feels so itchy all of a sudden the right side of your body has to do with your masculine energy it has to do with you taking initiative and, and getting things done and moving forward and I'm wondering too if this is just more intuition that you're receiving that's sort of guiding you along your path so you don't get lost because I'm not seeing you be lost but you can even feel like you're a little bit lost here within the energy this means too that it can be a challenge not to go back to the old ways that sort of put you in this position in the first place because you knew that they weren't working for you. You're gonna have a breakthrough. You're gonna have a breakthrough. I'm seeing the Ace of Swords. 10 of wands is you feeling like I don't know how much more energy I have to give to this I don't know what more I can even give to this and it's like when you're on you're taking like the last step before you can't take another step ace of swords is like you break through into the next aspect of this it feels like it took you all the way to your capacity of like if you had to take one more step i think that you would have either stopped or like turned around feels like the ace of swords happens in that moment the break the breakthrough happens in that moment I'm seeing something and I I don't know where it goes yet, so I'm just clarifying. Guys, some of you have somebody that... Some of you, you may have somebody that's, that's watching you do your thing over here. I don't really know like what part they have within this, but I am getting somebody around you that can maybe see something that's going on for you and... They can be feeling a type of way about how things happened with you in the past or this can just be somebody around you that no i feel like a sense of being a type of way about something here i'm seeing five of cups what's clarifying five of cups is page of swords and six of cups that means too that there can be some stuff from the past that you're still moving through but for some of you this can also be somebody hanging around you and they can be having regrets about something or even feeling like something was lost. You can also too be coming to terms with things as well. I don't know if you're gonna like find out about this person being around or not. I don't know how relevant it is, but it does feel like somebody's energy. This is somebody that you know and you would have had experience experiences with them already. This wouldn't be a stranger by any means. Having Fool and having Nine of Wands, it may be challenging to persevere. However, I'm seeing Ten of Pentacles, which means that you are going to get something really amazing is going to materialize and it will be what you were looking for to materialize but i'm seeing it be connected with the three of wands so i don't think that this is happening now it looks like this is going to be happening because when i see three of wands in this context 
especially having ten of pentacles which is something that's going to be connected with like on a more long-term scale what you've been doing because this will be something that will be around for a while once you get to that point having three of wands above it shows that like if you keep persevering and you keep putting in what you're putting in you're going to get the ten of pentacles and ten of pentacles means that you're going to be cruising when you get to that point and it will be lasting for you and things will feel very solid and feel very secure and it does feel like that's what you were looking for like that's what sort of a bunch of this is about in the first place and this can even be like material security or it can be as far as your physical experience something feeling like it's steady and like it's not going anywhere or this can be a goal that you've been looking to achieve whatever you've sort of had your sets your sights set on in a more like this is where I'm I'm hoping to move towards or like this is a bigger goal that I have because this doesn't feel like a short-term goal this feels like a more long-term goal because it it's a really big goal post to get to having three of wands and having ten of pentacles shows that like you are going to secure that that's where you are going to go with this and I feel like it's encouragement too when you're feeling pretty exhausted based off of everything that you've had to put in to sort of get here. Because things could have felt even overwhelming to the point where you were asking yourself, like, is this actually aligned that I continue doing this? Yeah, I, I feel like this is so very classic. When we start with Eight of Cups and we end with Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups is you, there's something that you are seeking. There's something that you can feel like where I am right now, I want to plug into something that I don't feel is available to me currently. And Seven of Cups is this, where am I going to find that? Like, where do I have to go? Like, what do I need to do? What work needs to be done? Or like, how do I need to open myself in order to connect with this? So it's kind of that, the confusion, the ambiguity of, I'm, I'm looking for something and I'm gonna know what it is when I tune into it. But until I get to that point, I'm looking around like, is it under here? Is it under here? Is it over there? And so that's the whole thing that's being done is you trying to figure it out. And when you're going through a time that can feel kind of up and down emotionally and energetically, how do you sort of remain centered when you have that stuff going all around? And there can be things that are being processed emotionally too, like things that you can feel you get stuck on or stuck about and how you continue through with your journey. Eight of Cups and the Fool is telling you if there's stuff that you're unhappy with, if there is stuff that you have going on right now that you're asking yourself, why am I doing this? Or feeling like you might change the rhythm. If there's stuff that you have going on that you feel like it's no longer nurturing you and your spirit, it can be a time where with the fool, you're going out exploring. And I feel like this has already been happening. And this can even be more encouragement for you to keep going and for you to keep looking and to do more exploring and to be open-minded. Four of Cups and Nine of Wands is the feeling that you get when you're trying to do something and it's challenging and you can feel a lack of motivation like how sustainable is this and also too dealing with your mood swings or dealing with your i'm motivated right now and then tomorrow i'm completely unmotivated like how do you deal with the human oscillations that you experience three of wands ten of pentacles feels to me like ultimately what you're going to achieve if you really do commit to this, if you really do commit to doing this, that what you're looking for is very much going to be secured. Having 10 of wands is that feeling of 
This is taking a toll on me. Ace of Swords is going to be very much a breakthrough from that. So you feel like you're at your limit and then Ace of Swords comes through and it like breaks that glass ceiling or it pulls you out of something that you had been within. Um, and it's going to definitely be an aspect of an elevated perspective. And then even your mind gets reset where before you you could have felt like it feels like a change that happens it feels like a shift that happens and then you're sort of on board in a different way than you had been before and it can mean too that something that had been feeling so intense and almost like you didn't have anything else to give it then breaks out into a new cycle where that intensity drops so it goes from something being really high intensity to then you breaking through to the other side and then that tension isn't there anymore because you've already broken through like you did what you needed to do to sort of shift into the next aspect of the cycle having eight of swords and having five of cups Although this can be something that's coming to fruition, especially when it comes to your conscious understanding of what's going on, and you even having this mental breakthrough, the word superior is coming through. Having Eight of Swords simultaneously, there can be something that you feel stuck on, but having it be linked to Five of Cups, it feels more connected with the past and less connected with your present, even though presently you can be feeling that, but it's an attachment to things. And this feels like stuff that maybe you still haven't fully like gotten over. And when I say that, I mean more so like, there are things that haven't fully been processed. There are things that haven't been fully integrated. So even though this feels like very much a confirmation of you continuing to do what you're doing, I think too simultaneously, feeling like I'm gonna sneeze again, but it feels like, you know when you sneeze, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's only coming from one side. I keep feeling it only on the right side. Like my left side, nothing at all. But on the right side, I'm feeling like I'm going to sneeze. Like I can feel it coming through. This can be stuff that's going on with your throat chakra as well. It feels like it's connected even with the sinuses here. So there can be something going on with that too. Having Eight of Swords, you can feel very stuck mentally. What is it connected to? Having Five of Cups, this is about stuff that I feel like wasn't realized before and there can even be a moment where you realize things you can realize things in the moment and it can give you perspective about other things but it feels like it's meant to help you now and to move forward rather than to hold you back and having this five of cups come up this ace of swords feels like I'm seeing something as it is I'm seeing the truth I'm seeing with clarity Five of Cups can be a feeling of that being really difficult because of the part of you that is making adjustments and the part of you that feels like things aren't happening the way that they're supposed to or like something went wrong when really that's not the case at all but that can be our ego's perspective based off of what we expected, what we wanted, what we thought, what we assumed, what we wished for it's it's funny because it's not it's not five of cups and then ace of swords so that you're breaking out of being stuck in the past it feels more like ace of swords is that moment of seeing things clearly and then having five of cups follow almost feels like why didn't i realize this sooner why did it take me so long to see this and then having to, and even to like, wow, I had no idea or I was not aware of this before. Five of Cups and Seven of Cups feels like now that you have some type of truth here, now that there's been some breakthrough here that feels very important, how do you reconcile that with like you didn't know this before or you didn't realize this before, this breakthrough didn't happen before?
it's like you go your whole life believing that the sky is orange and something happens and you realize that the sky is blue and there's like some type of lament that I'm seeing here with the five of cups sort of looking at the truth and you're looking up at the sky like wow it really is blue and it feels like this processing that's happening of like how did I not realize this the whole time it feels like that to me and so how do you how do you see that how do you deal with that and eight of swords feels like I don't know why the truth would trip you up, but I'm seeing you see something very clearly. And I do feel very much like you were not seeing this before and like maybe you were doing things that were aligned with when you believed the sky was orange and now it's like, well, you can't unsee that the sky is blue and so what happens now? What happens from here? But I do get this feeling of like, if only I had known almost but at the same time too if you're really if you're really sort of feeling into things you're gonna know that if you didn't know something before it's because you weren't ready to like it wasn't it wasn't time for that part yet like now is time for this part like this is this moment that you're having this like understanding this realization it's happening right when it's supposed to be happening and it can be a moment where you feel a bit disgruntled i feel like because of the timing of this simultaneously it was supposed to happen right now and so maybe that can help you sort of get some things out of the way thinking that this happened in any other any way other than how it should have Because it happened just like it was supposed to. And that was the point. I am seeing emotional exploration that's happening too. I feel like when it comes to the things that you care about, the things that you're involved within, and also how you're managing yourself while you're having an emotional experience, while you're having this internal experience as you're narrating your journey. I do feel again that this is a moment where you see something that you were not seeing before and you see it so clearly that it cannot be denied and Eight of Swords almost feels like a feeling of shutting down because of that and being like, man, how did I not see that? I see it so clearly. Like I, the cards feel like animated to me as I'm looking at them. And then like, how do you, how are you working with yourself emotionally through that sort of realization that you're having? This is a lot of learning from the past as well that's happening too. As you're processing your feelings, and as you're sort of on a new venture, emotionally speaking, this is about you and how you relate to the world on an internal level, like how you relate to your experience on an internal level and there being a lot of expansion and exploration. And I do feel like there's like a very major epiphany that you're having too about your future and what you want and things being solid and also going through something that feels like a bit of a a bit of a karmic challenge currently or just like a challenge if you don't want to associate karma with this karma is just cause and effect just feels like something that's running through something that's been being worked out i do think as well that there is a coming to terms with things too of like what's happening when things change when things change and your feelings surrounding that of yeah, there can be a fear that's being addressed or a fear that's coming up that's associated with things not staying the same. And the inevitability of that even, it seems. Seeking, which also means not falling back into stuff that you already know doesn't work. That being a challenge, you making progress with it seeing you having a breakthrough, especially during a time when you can feel 
a bit inundated mentally and emotionally. So even though I am seeing you have a breakthrough, simultaneously you can feel like there's a lot of heavy stuff that you're moving through and it can be, you know, Eight of Swords and Seven of Cups can feel like it's difficult to know what to do or know what you're thinking or know what to say when you don't feel like you're solidly standing in one place or solidly experiencing one thing or having a single emotion. It's like, what about when you're having all of the emotions or a whole bunch of things? It's like, it's like you say that you're feeling like this and then in the next moment you're feeling like the next thing and then the next thing and it's like why even bother to say something if it's just like all of this stuff all around and so I feel like you're having one of those moments when there's just like a bunch of stuff coming up and you are sort of just like witnessing yourself experience that the fool in four of cups is you exploring things you can be very far outside of your comfort zone currently and there can be a part of you that's really like seeking nurturance and also stability but that's also like why you're doing this in the first place is to establish that within your life at first when i looked up i saw 2744 and that number feels significant and then when i just looked up now i saw 30 30 and so if you look up those angel numbers, they can like describe more about this. So having fool and having four of cups is that like I'm exploring, but you can be feeling a little bit discouraged right now. You can feel winded. You can feel tired. You can feel like, is this even worth it for me? Ten of pentacles does feel like it's worth it to you. Like there is a bigger goal here. There's like something more that you're doing this for. And it's it's for a very good reason why you're doing what you're doing simultaneously you can feel stressed out you can feel like this process is taking a lot out of you and you can also be realizing things and you're like again why didn't i realize that sooner like why did it take that for this to sink in like why did i do things in that way there can be a lot of the things that are associated with like if i had only known like i would have been doing this differently but also again at the same time this is about how you sort of hold your hand while you're going through this because that didn't happen you didn't know then you know now and you as soon as you were ready for it that's when this breakthrough happened and it's because you weren't ready for it before and that's why it didn't happen before and so there's this coming to terms that's happening and i think also too you being a guide for yourself as you move through this being like a therapist for yourself and also being a parent to yourself as you move through this for that part of your part of you that can feel like a very vulnerable aspect of yourself that feels a little bit bewildered at this process currently and then is coming to terms with seasons changing as well and that they do not stay the same and that also being like maybe there are things about mortality that you're facing even in a metaphorical sense even in a spiritual sense at least in this realm anyway all right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.